Oh, uh, dead battery? <laughs> Already getting problems. <laughs> Sold your dodgy car. <laughs> Make sure you guys get your tickets for the March 4th event in Dallas. It's going to be huge. I'm super excited to see you guys. You only have a few days left to get your tickets, whether you want to be in the show, a spectator, or you want to drift. As long as I can get my 240 running, I will be there doing ride-alongs, but either way, it's going to be a huge car show. You can get ride-alongs with pro drivers or pro-am drivers, and it's going to be amazing. There'll be food trucks. It's going to be a great time. So get your tickets now. The links are in the description, and I will see you guys on Saturday. I just drove the JZX 100, and uh, that was interesting. I've never driven on this side of the road before. Didn't film it because I didn't want to mess up. Okay, we're finally at Archie Speedway. Well, we've been here. I've been waiting this whole trip to do some drifting, and I've done a bunch of amazing things, including buying my very own AU Falcon down under. I'm stoked. It's gonna be a good time. That's a new track that I've never driven before. New car that I've never driven before. So, give me a few laps to warm up. I mean, it's sorted. It should be good. I'm just excited to have a fun time and enjoy Archer Field while it's still here. This is the first day of all the drifting we're gonna have. Dude, four doors, baby. Put my little, uh, gotta get a GoPro set up real quick. Call the Mystery Ranch. Yeet. There you go. We're not anticipating a big crowd tonight because this is just a Thursday night. We'll see. The track is, again, it's closing down in May. So I think that might get people off their tails to come do some driving. Hoping to meet a few of you guys, but I'm also just ready to get some driving done. Bro, even the power windows work in this thing. Are you serious? That's not even real. There's no way. Uh oh, no, it's not going up. Never mind. Spoke too soon. <laughs> I'm going to be the first one out there. Track's hot. A lot of you guys know that one of my biggest supporters of the channel has been Helix Sleep. And I want to tell you guys, they've got a new deal for you guys that I'm really excited to tell you about. And if you don't know who Helix Sleep is, I'll give you a brief summary about them. Helix makes insanely comfortable mattresses and sleep goodies that you can easily buy online and have shipped right to your house free of charge. We have been sleeping on Helix's Moonlight Lux for almost three, I don't know, I think it's been three years now almost. And we've absolutely loved it. Sleep can dictate how your life evolves. Not necessarily the amount of sleep coming from a dad, I'll tell you it's the quality of sleep that you get. With Helix Sleep, you take a quiz online and they will recommend a mattress based on your personal needs because they have a bunch of different types. Once you buy the mattress, they ship it to your house free of charge if you're in the USA and they let you try it out for 100 nights. If you don't like it, they have the 100 night sleep trial. You can ship it back to them and get a refund. You're not gonna wanna do that though, because it's amazing. They also have a 10 year warranty and flexible payment plans. The new deal I was telling you guys about, this is awesome. They used to do up to a certain amount of money you could get off, but now if you go to the link that I have for you in the description, I can save you guys 20% off your mattress purchase and you get two free pillows. So there's no cap to the amount of savings now. So 20% off plus two free pillows is huge. Go to the link that I've got for you in the description. At least take the quiz and see what mattress works best for you. Now let's get back on to the video. Okay, let's see how we do, I guess. Being the only one on the track, I'm sure I'll make a fool of myself my first lap, but. <laughs>
really started getting used to the car a little bit, but AUs are bouncy and they're really fun. Uh, this track's really cool too. Like, it's just like a perfect second gear track, especially for the, this car is 345 rear, rear diff, so. Sit that, yeah! <laughs> it's fun. I'm out of, I'm out of petroleum. It said it had a half tank, but who knows? So this time I want to go faster and it's, I've learned that you need to go really, really fast into the bank and uh, rest is history, it's real fun. Once I started to get the car feeling a little more dialed, I uh, started feeling that like there was no traction on the left side of the car. So I guess that makes sense. Time to get some new, uh, some new tires, brother. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Little, uh, good old tap. That's a lot. 
Uh, yes. That'll do it, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Okay, do okay. What was it doing revving high then? Was the clutch still slipping or was yeah. it like... Because it'll have extra load because the Too much on. load, yeah. Okay. It'll just be sitting there trying to push itself through, so... Well, I didn't push it too hard, so I think we should be okay, but... <laughs> That's a lot. Oops. If you want to get working on your car, I can... Oh, I can my car. I'll let mine cool down. So... Well, I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Oh, you're right. No, we're good. Oh, yeah, well, Hell yeah. All right. Well, that's easy. Hell yeah. I'll get it back on and go. This guy has it for sale, so if you're in the Brisbane area and you want a really cool ute, this thing is sick. Love it, dude. It's a, it's a, it's a crazy car oh. to drive. I don't even know how to describe it, but uh, appreciate it no matter what. That was, it was fun. It's a crazy car. So I think I do need a new clutch, but I let it cool down and it seemed to be okay. Not having been filming anything the rest of the night, but I've been doing some ride along with some subs that decided to come out here. So just having a good time hanging out with you guys. Hi, Brian. Been having a good time. We'll end it in a second. The first drift day with the AU was so much more of a success. I can't say, I don't want to say that I expected because I kind of expected some awesome things out of it and I definitely got some awesome things out of it. But we're sending it back with David who we got it from at AU House. He's going to change the clutch. Um, when I was giving the, I was giving subscribers ride alongs towards the end there for, I would probably go like set six, seven laps. It would get too hot. And so I think it might just be an old clutch. So we're gonna do it eight hours. I'm gonna be trying to, I'm gonna try and do a bunch of ride-alongs uh, if I can. Hopefully this car, I'm sure this car will, you know, I don't know, David's got me. So we'll- If there's problems, we've got a backup car. <laughs> True. I wanna see you guys on Saturday. It's my last day in Australia for a while. So I wanna, that's sad. It makes me so sad, but I need to go home. I miss my family. For those of you who came out tonight, that was huge. It was a little more low key. It was amazing to see you guys. I didn't end this video when I was there, but I think one of my favorite things about Australia and, and like, at least for this event, these types of events is like, in America, when I go and drift, you know, you're, it's like my car, my 240 is like, it's completely different. It's, it's so like out of the ordinary because like you get to America and all these cars are set up with like, $8,000, $10,000 worth of suspension, 900 horsepower. I mean, like I, I was at a go-kart track not a, not a few months ago and there's like four dudes out there with like carbon Kevlar S15s, you know what I mean? And like, it's not un uncommon to see that. And so like, this is like, it's, it's less, it's such a welcoming thing to go to places like this 
and just go drift a complete crap box around and uh, have fun with people like that. Um, and unfortunately, I think that the, it, it's hard these days just because cars are so expensive and I think maybe people just like to overbuild stuff. But um, you know, with the AUs out there, it's just so rad. So I definitely enjoyed this first day. Uh, the second day, I will say, I'll spoil it for you, I got much better. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, the clutch being, you know, having needing replaced, didn't help so but it's just awesome because like yeah i'm so used to people just having such overbuilt cars in the states and and uh you know basically people just trying so hard to compete for pro that they like i don't know it's like a lot of people i think have lost touch with like the point of drifting here in the states and like if you go to an event like this you realize that really it's about fun like we're a bunch of we're a bunch of idiots just sliding vehicles around for fun. And you know, when you put too much sport into something, you put too much competition into something, it'll eventually ruin it. And uh, you know, I think it's just awesome that we were, that I was just able to come out, you know, and just enjoy it. So I have a couple more videos for you from Australia. I'm trying to get this pumped out, but I've had such a hard time getting editing caught up and trying to get stuff figured out, especially for the March 4th event. So I actually have taken a few considerations for a, a part-time video editors, which has been super amazing. I think I actually finally am gonna take the step, the much needed step for doing that. You know, my daily advice for you guys is uh, not everybody's gonna like you. In fact, people will even hold grudges on you for what they did to you. You can literally do nothing to somebody in this life and they'll hate you for it. They'll hate you for just existing. They'll hate you for being there. Um, and you know, I mean, it hurts. It hurts, it sucks, it's not fun, but you have to move on. I think it's important to just kind of be true to yourself and uh, know why you do what you do. If people are just constantly reaming you, if you're constantly feeling beat down, like you can't sit there and complain about it. You just gotta keep moving. You have to keep moving. And that's what I wanna tell you today, I guess. I love you guys and I will see you guys next video. We got a couple more AU videos, a couple more Australia videos, and then I'm moving on. If you guys are watching this, it's like Tuesday. So I will see you guys Saturday. I uh, hope to see you guys there. We want to make this event big and uh, it makes, you know, it makes me feel so good to have the, you know, the local community come out. Uh, we're just hoping for a big event. So love you guys. See you on Saturday. Peace.